in frame. We just got done seeing Amy. This is a brand new car side review. New car, same attitude. <laughs> <laughs> So if you don't know, the movie Amy features actress Amy Winehouse playing herself because it's told via documentary footage. I was surprised by how much uh, footage they had of her. Yeah, like I don't know who's filming it. Well, friend, friends and her. But I don't have friends who are just walking around filming. Well, that's like why that. you don't have a documentary based on your life. <laughs> or friends. Well, this is my cousin Drew. <laughs> he saw it with me. I thought it was, you know, it was good. It was interesting. I think you said it earlier, it should have been like an MTV. Yeah, like, a, like an ESPN 30 for 30. I mean, not, I she's not an athlete. I don't know what that means, but yeah, it should have been something on TV. I'm showing a lot of skin here. I don't really know what's going <laughs> on with that. I'm just, don't worry about it. You're welcome, ladies or, or guys. Or, we're matching we're shirts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We just got done golfing and watching the Amy Winehouse. The, the takeaway, because I, I didn't know going in anything about Amy Winehouse other than her, her rehab song. Trying to take my back to rehab. That's, That's not right. I didn't know anything, so I was a little interested just to, to find out a little bit more of her, her about her train wreck of a life. And uh, it was called Amy. It could have been called Shitty Parents, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good contribution. <laughs> what did you think about the running time, length of the film? Okay, the movie was a little long. That's what uh, I felt. Like like you, I said earlier. Can you guys quiet down? We're doing a car side review. <laughs> movie feuds. Movie feuds. Adam Olinger, <laughs> Feud Nation. Nobody knows who I am. Okay. Um, yeah, it should have been about an hour, 45 minutes, you know. Perfect time for a, one of those TV spots. <laughs> you know. <laughs> a few commercials to cut up the... The monotony of some of it. We're have commercials <laughs> in it. I would have. They didn't show commercials at the previewing, so I mean. Oh, you want pre preview? Well, okay. Well, now we're complaining about there was no previews before the advanced screening of Amy. When you told me about the showing, I assumed there would be some commercials. There was no previews that you see online. I wanted to like see six some months early. Wanted to see some Ant Man trailers. I got none of that. Oh, no, Just that got more Amy Winehouse <laughs> whining seems, about nothing. Seems kind of off the target audience. <laughs> Ant Man before Amy. Yeah, there's not a lot to say. If you didn't know anything about Amy, you might gain some interest from you know the backstory and some of her struggles. If you do know Amy Winehouse, you probably like it a lot. More. More. Usually in documentary films, they show some footage and then they show the person talking, you know, like with the clipped on mic. And I was <laughs> expecting that, but this, they had so much of this footage from, you know, just friends and family filming that they just stayed on it the whole time and the people just talked over it. And I don't think I liked that. I would have rather seen the person talk. I would have rather had some cutaways because there's there's parts where the, the photo is up for like it feels like an eternity and it's just her standing there and it's usually an awkward position like she's sticking yeah. her tongue out and there's crap on her tongue. I mean not literally but there's there's stuff on her tongue and, and I'm just thinking like this is really I could just see the director being like this is a warts and all type of film you know we're showing the, the ugliness there's no you know we're not painting this in a perfect limelight but I don't know. It seemed kind of forced. I would have liked yeah. the more traditional approach to the documentary. I the, wanted to see like the dad's reaction when he was saying some of this stuff, right? Because he's so full of shit for half of it. Yeah, that guy was a kind of a piece of crap. The, the, you know, the parenting's not good. That's the bottom line uh, and the top line. It's, <laughs> it's all the lines. The, the other, the only other type of shot they did that wasn't from her like personal collection was when they would do these kind of GoPro or just high def shots where they'd slowly you know move into the yeah, house so or aerial fun. views. They kind of had this creepy vibe to them because it was all kind of lifeless besides maybe a car going by. I, I kind of dug them though. I really? Yeah, I thought they were out of place. They was, were they were out of place. There was one where it was like went backwards like under that arch and I, I didn't get why they put it in. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was art for the sake of art, I guess. Yeah. But I would, I would have liked to if they would have taken it more that direction and less on the found footage, and maybe shown, you know, maybe reconstructed some of the insides of the houses too, like show the the cocaine use and the the empty bottles and sh and shit. But did she really live in that tiny house? I, that apparently, flat yeah. For the, she was making like a she's, million dollars a show. Yeah, they she said. was very self. Deprecating is that the right word? Self-deprecating. Probably. We're gonna use it. It doesn't matter. Nobody who watches this show is over eight, anyways. <laughs> no one's checking. Subscribe. <laughs> I'm gonna give Amy out of ten. I'm gonna go five. I'm gonna give Amy a, a six out of ten. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun time at the movies with a happy ending. Good family flick. <laughs>
the face. Did not know that she died at the end. That was yeah. crazy. Well, that's a spoiler, so. <laughs> it's not like her upbringing was shitty either. It was just her parents didn't no, scold her enough. It was bad-ish. Her was, I mean, dad was, cheated on her mom or something, but it's not like a. It's pretty, one pretty million, regular. Not a one of the yeah. main story. You know, I try to cheat on my wife once a week <laughs> just to <laughs> just break up. Just doesn't work out. Break up the monotony of it all. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my kids on their toes. I'm a good dad. <laughs>